Am I to say I'm a pioneer for plasticized animated Americans? Maybe. My name is Joe Firestone, and uh, this here is the tiniest comedy club the world has ever seen. I'd say so far it's, it's my biggest success. I tell the comedians when I book them, I say they're small, but they're very excited. I don't know what else that could mean. I try not to say they're dolls, because it's just like, it's kind of degrading. Or, I don't know. Well, uh, we had a collection of 30 different individuals here. And with any group setting, there's going to be some people that push the limit, some people that stay inside the lines. You got a couple people that are just not going to laugh at anything. You know, they're grumpy people. Uh, Emily Z is great. She has been really fun. She's really into the idea. Anita Z, who's uh, not going to laugh at a goddamn thing. Why is she here? I don't know. I don't know what she's doing here. I mean, you know, people laugh on the inside. And Adina, she's the oldest of all the dolls. She's seven. Uh, she's also the most overdressed of all the dolls. I tried not to have a dress code. I know everybody's from a different time period. Liza M is sitting in the back, and she's quiet, but I think she's starting to make friends with people around her. She's got a present, but she won't tell us who it's for. For the most part, they've been good. Some, some people don't turn their cell phones off. That, that's irritating, because it disrupts the performance. And who's that important? Goldfish is a bitch. Someone had to say it. You know, soup du jour drank too much the first day and she's been drunk ever since. Emily P will not keep her clothes on. She loves that full exposure. And that is not my style, but it's okay. It's okay, she doesn't have any nipples. It's not that big of a deal. The walk-ins do the jokes when they come in. These are called the house jokes. Uh, like if you had a house ladder or maybe a house vodka. These are the house jokes. They're not going anywhere. You know, you can... Here we go. You ready? All right. Uh, this is my impression of a happy baby doll. <laughs> Thank you. This is my impression of a sad baby doll. <laughs> Not a lot of people are, you know, ready to just come in off the street and do this kind of thing. And that's okay. And uh, maybe it's a slow start. Maybe the first, you know, 15 days are going to be nothing dead. But then it's like that 16th day and everybody wants in. That's how New York works. So where are you from? China? Uh, where are you from? Also China? Where? Oh, all from China. That's nice. Okay. There's been some great comedians, though. Essentially, it's been um, the whole gamut of talent and non-talent. I've heard some pretty st stupid shit in here, and the dolls appreciate it because nobody talks to them. I am quickly discovering that New York is not a good place to meditate. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. A lot of people don't come inside, but I say, yeah, it's not for you. Then the people that come inside, I say, you're in the right place. I have spent a lot of time alone with these guys. They heard my jokes a million times. <laughs> I mean, they really have heard them a million times. <laughs> it's just party all the time. We're just drinking. We have a special. It's a vodka with jelly beans. That's called the house cocktail. Some of the girls have got a nickname for it. They call it the puke machine. This is New York City. I mean, there's a lot of fucking people in this city. And some of those people have kids. And those kids inevitably are going to have... Uh, some dolls, you know, and then those kids, the kids grow up, right? And then, and then, what do you do with the dolls? You, you take them to some, some, you know, hell house, secondhand store. It's like, I saw all these dolls. I thought, these guys deserve a show. Why not bring them to some place and have them sitting down in a comfortable handmade chair and have them watch some goddamn comedy? Humans can do it. Why hasn't this happened before? Where do I see Tiny Comedy Club going? I don't really know. Time Out New York said, 
not at all creepy, which was a huge plus. I mean, that is like primo. Um, New York Post said creepy. Uh, you know, if it's creepy or not at all creepy, maybe it's somewhere in between, which is uh, pleasant. If I were someone from the outside, I'd say, what are those weirdos doing in there? I want to be a part of that. 